everybody a good evening. For those that are there just now, could you give them a wee thumbs up if you can hear me? Okay. And a wee heart if you can see me. I'd even a wee comment, that'd be great, thanks. So that we don't lose anybody. Lovely. You can yeah, so I can get a wee thumbs up now if somebody could just to say that you can hear me okay. I'm presuming you can because obviously you've sent a wee heart. Wonderful. Hi Sharon, how are you? Double whammy for you this week, well done. Give another few seconds and then we will just get started. Okay. So good evening everybody, a very warm welcome. Not sure if this is your first time, just to shut my door, um, or your 101st time doing yoga, but please um, just be mindful um, of your body. Um, again, I don't know what kind of day you guys have had, whether you're back at work, you know, whether you've got, you're working from home or whatever, so just be mindful of your body. I'm not in the studio, so I really can't, you know, see and speak to you individually to see if you have any aches or pains or give you alternatives to do because, you know, being online doesn't extend um, to that. If you do want to ask me a question, you'll get me on Facebook under Eleanor Pratt. If you want to ask me any, anything at all there, you are more than welcome. So before we get started, a request from KA Leisure. For those that are members, those that come into the gym, or those that are interested in coming on board, please sign up to the KA Leisure um, newsletter. The reason for that is, obviously we're coming out of a lockdown, it's easing down um, as we go forward, and we will be able to keep you up to date with what they're proposing for when the facilities um, open. Not assured when that's going to be, but they will keep you up to date with um, the information um, if you sign up to the, um, the newsletter. Um, and it's, it's really beneficial for you um, as well to know what's going on. So tonight, um, a nice flow, just a nice summer flow, we're in the summer season, um, which is higher energy. So it's a bit more energetic for um, your practice um, and that will reflect in what we're doing tonight. But first of all, let me invite you to come down onto the floor and we'll lie in good old Shavasana. Okay. So we're just going to lie in Shavasana just for a couple of minutes here just to bring your mind and body um, back into the present moment. As I say, I don't know what kind of day you guys have had, so let's just lie on the floor Ankles coming to each side of the mat, hands coming away from the body. Let's touch your thighs and then take them away with your palms facing up towards the sky. Make sure your head's in alignment, so therefore just roll it from side to side. And then when it's in the right position, just bring your chin into your chest. Okay, lovely. So from here, let's take a nice big inhale. Filling the air up so your lungs are expanding, so as is your tummy, your ribs, and your chest. And then just sigh out the mouth. And again, nice big inhale. Expanding the body at the front, and then let's exhale. No contraindications because we're not holding the breath. Inhale. And let's exhale. And again, inhale, and let's exhale. And then just come back into your normal breath. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Sorry, in through the nose and out through the nose. Okay, wonderful. Few more breaths here. Just keep breathing nice and calmly. Bringing you in to the present moment, bringing you into the now. Superb. 
And then from here, let's just take my arms above your head, bringing your feet together, toes point away from the body, and just a nice big stretch here. Next one. And then from here, let's take the left leg to the left side of the mat, taking the right ankle over the left, taking your head to the left side of your mat, <coughs> taking the arms above your head, <coughs> left hand holding on to the right wrist and just pulling over. So we're now in a banana shape. And what we've got here is both shoulders touching onto the floor. And when you're pulling that right wrist with the left hand, you're feeling a stretch coming right down the one side of your body. So it's like a full body stretch here, but effectively coming down, effectively coming down the side. A really good stretch in one. Excellent. So it can be done at the beginning of the practice or at the end, which we have done before. Lovely. And then from here, coming over, taking the right foot over, then the left over the right, taking the head over to the right side of your mat, hands over your head, holding on to your left wrist, and again, just giving that wrist a tug, and you're feeling that stretch coming right down the full side of that body. So yes, it's energetic tonight, but we're going to be working on the core. Okay, so that's your abs that we're going to be working on. And you will thank me for this, ladies and gents. Trust me. You will thank me for this. And then from here, let's come back into the centre. We're going to hug the knees into your chest and just rock gently from side to side. And then from here, we're going to take the left leg and place it on the floor with the toes pointing up towards the sky. Right leg coming up towards the sky, toes pointing up. And we're just going to rotate the ankles three times one way. And let's go three times the other. And then from here, left hand's coming onto the left thigh or just at your hip. Your right hand's either going to be at your thigh, your calf, or your hip toe. Whichever one suits you best, keeping the tailbone on the floor. From here, let's inhale and bring that leg in towards you. And then let's take it away, back to starting position. And then we're going to take it out to the right hand side, but not too far, remember, you're just warming up your muscles. Okay, and then back into centre. And then from here, we're gonna take it across the hip. Excellent. Superb, again, not too far. Back into centre. Bring that knee down. Just hug it in and bring it in towards your shoulder. And now let's just place that right leg onto the floor. And you'll notice that your right leg is now longer than the left because you've done a bit of stretching with it. So let's bring the left leg up towards the sky, toes pointing up to the sky, and we're just gonna rotate the left ankle three times one way, and let's go the opposite three times, one, two, and three. From here, the right hand is coming on to the right thigh. Your left hand's either gonna be at your thigh, your calf, or your big toe. We're keeping that tailbone onto the floor, and then from here, we're going to bring that leg in towards your face. Lovely. Take it back into centre. Bring it towards the camera if you're on your left leg. Taking it away from your hip. Excellent. Back into centre. And then from here, just gently taking it over your left side. Okay, I'm going towards the fire. And then back into centre. And then drop that knee, give it a hug. Taking that knee in towards that chest, or sorry, the, the shoulder. Lovely. And then from here, bring both knees in, give them a hug. Okay. I'm going to place the feet at each side of the mat and then bring your knees together. And I'm just going over to my right hand side and I'm lifting my right ankle and taking it across onto the left thigh, 
I'm getting a spinal stretch here. I'm taking my arms out nice and long. My knee is going one way and my head is going the opposite. So I'm looking down at that hand. So at this point, you can have one hand up towards the sky and one hand coming down towards the floor. Wonderful. And then from here, back up into centre. Dropping the right leg down. Foot on the floor, knees come together. And let's go over to the left side. My head is now going to the right. Left ankle on top of right thigh. Alternate your hands. So I've now got my right hand up towards the sky, left palm coming down. But whatever you've done the last time, change it round. Next one. And then from here, come back into centre. Give your knees a nice hug. And then from here, we're coming into a bridge. So we're going to take your feet onto the floor and we're going to have them hip width apart. So how do we do that? Bring your feet together, okay? But bring your heels close towards your buttocks, okay? And then we're going to have your feet together. Heels are coming together. Your toes are splaying out to 10 o'clock to two. And then we're going to straighten those feet and that gives you hip width apart. So from here, we're gonna just roll up and down slowly in a bridge, and that way we're warming up the spine. So we inhale, and as we inhale, the, pelvic, uh, the pubic bones come up towards the sky, or coming up towards the shoulders. Your feet are pressing into the mat, you're not holding your glutes, staying nice and relaxed. It's your thighs, you're pushing towards each other, but not touching, and then coming back down, nice and slow. And again, nice big inhale. Lovely. Up you come. You can feel as if you've got onto your shoulders, pressing the feet into the floor. It sometimes helps to take your toes off the floor and you just feel your, the balls of your feet and your heels coming into that floor. Feeling your thighs coming up towards the sky, your chin's coming in towards your chest. And let's come back down. Okay, we'll do that two more times. Okay. Nice big inhale. Up we come. Super. As if we're going on to those shoulders, remember, but not quite. You can feel your shoulder blades coming together. And then coming back down. Excellent. And then one more. Up we come. Excellent. Superb. And then coming back down. So from here, let's just cross the legs. And we're going to come on to all fours. Okay, and we're going to get into cat cow. So from here, we're in cat cow. So you've got your wrists underneath your shoulders. Okay. Tummy's nice and tight. Okay. And then from here, we're going to inhale. And as we inhale, we look straight ahead. Tailbone's coming up towards the sky. Your elbows are bent just very, very slightly, just minute. And then we change. So from here, focus point changes. You're looking at your navel. You feel the shoulder blades opening up. Your spine is going up towards the sky. Tailbone's coming down. Inhale, bend those elbows just slightly. Tailbone's coming up towards the sky. Looking straight ahead. Let's change, exhaling. Chin coming into that chest. Spine coming up towards the sky, shoulder blades opening nice and wide, looking great. And last one, nice big inhale, straight ahead, tailbone up towards the sky, wonderful. And then from here, exhale, chin into chest, focus point your navel, tailbone coming down, shoulder blades parted. Back into neutral spine, keeping that tummy nice and tight. Excellent. So from here, let's like, thread the needle. So right arm's coming out. I'm cupping my hand and I'm taking it past my left wrist. So my front of my arm's on the floor, my right arm's on the floor. My right shoulder's on the floor, as is my right ear and the side of my right head. Okay, from here, raise the left arm up towards the sky. And then we're going to do something a wee bit different. We're going to do the half bind. So we're going to take the hand behind, top hand behind, and your fingertips are just coming onto the thighs 
in between the thighs and the hips. Excellent. And then let's bring that hand back up towards the sky. And then we'll take the left leg out long. And if you want, you can raise that left up, left leg up, toes pointing towards the floor. Bit of a balancing act here. And then from here, let's just drop the foot down, the knee down, the hand down, using the heel of the hand to lift you up. Pressing the right hand down onto the floor. Back to our starting position. Lovely. So from here, let's have your left arm coming up. And then from here, we're cupping the hand and we're taking it past the right elbow, the right wrist. So now I've got my right forearm, left forearm onto the floor, palms placing up to the sky, left shoulder on the floor, as is my left ear inside of my head. We're going to raise the right arm up towards the sky, looking over the right shoulder, taking it into a half bind. So I'm taking my arm down, taking my fingers and just taking them in to the crease between my hips and my thighs. Just hold it here for a couple of breaths. And then let's just take that left, right leg behind, I'm on my toes. And if you want to, for the balance tonight, bring your legs up. You can also take the arm up as well. You've got a couple of options there, ladies and gents. Excellent. And then let's bring that foot down, the knee down, the hand down. Let's use the heel of the hand to bring you up. Lovely. So we're back in two all fours. So let's now, as we know coming up, so let's now come into a nice heart opening. Okay. Okay. Lovely. So from here, we're in all fours and we're just going to go into a nice heart opening here before we start getting into the full practice. So we're in all fours. Let's just bring the hands forward just slightly. Okay. Your thighs are going to be nice and long here. We don't want them here and we don't want them here. We're not getting into a half plank or anything. So we're getting thighs nice and long. Tailbone's coming up. And then from here we bring the hands forward and as you're coming down your forehead or your chin is coming onto the floor and I'm cheating because I've got a nice fire here that's got a mirror front on it and I can make sure that I'm doing it properly. So you feel the stretch going right across the shoulder blades. I hope you're feeling it. Your forearms are on the mat. Your hands are on the mat. Your shoulder blades are really opening up wide here, as is your chest. And it feels great. If you want to enhance it, just think you're playing the piano and go on to piano fingers. And that just enhances that stretch. Excellent. And then from here, just take the hands back down if you're in piano fingers. And let's just walk the bottom back, taking the knees a bit wider. And we'll come into a child's pose. So a child's pose is a restorative pose, okay? Although you're stretching out your spine and your hips, okay? So if anybody's had a really stressful day and you come into practice, whether it's mine or whether it's anybody else's, and you want to stay in child's pose for the whole day, you do that. Your practice, just the same as being mindful for your body. Okay, wonderful. And then from here, let's come back into all fours. So we're going to get into down dog. So your down dog, and we're going to take, make sure your fingers are nice and wide. Your hands are just a bit shoulder width apart. We don't want to lean out towards your pinky because that will give you sore wrist. What you do want to do is hands nice and splayed, your fingers are coming to the front, your focus point is your thumb and your index finger, and you'll still have a wee kind of cup in the palm of your hand. Just the same as when you stand on the, the mat um, as well with your feet, your arches go up. So from here, let's take your toes and turn them under. Your knees are a bit hip width apart, and we're just coming up into a lovely down dog. So your knees can be bent, your heels don't have to be on the floor, your navel is into your spine, okay? Your feet are nice and long, okay? Your shoulders are away from the ears, 
You're taking the tops of your arms and turning them in. You feel your shoulder blades opening here. Okay. And then we're just going to walk the dog. And again, your heels don't have to come down to the bottom. Everybody's flexibility is different. And even if you've been doing yoga for a long time, sometimes you come into practice and your body's stiff for whatever reason. You know, it's not as flexible as it was yesterday. Bearing in mind as well, we have connective tissue going around all our body. And if that's not flexible, you ain't flexible. Hence the reason why, you know, a lot of these exercises are the postures that we do. We'll warm up the um, connective tissue, making you that bit more flexible. So by the end of the class, you will be that bit more. Excellent. And then from here, let's just bend those knees and we're going to walk to the top of the mat. And we're having our hands down onto that mat. So from here I'll face you. And then we're just going to take one hand to one elbow and the other to the other. Your feet are hip width apart. And we're just going to bend the knees and go from side to side. A wee bit of a stretch. Or you can take your knuckles down and just go from side to side side. Your choice. And I'll turn back. Okay. And then from here we're going to have the hands onto the floor and we're going to make our way up. One vertebrae at a time. Nice big inhale, taking those hands up to the sky. Inhale. Bring your hands back down, hands into prayer. Nice big inhale. Forward fold again, coming down, hands onto the floor. Let's come up to those fingertips, hands coming back down. Let's come up nice and slowly. Taking those arms out, hands up to the sky, hands back down in prayer. Nice big inhale. Exhale, coming forward, hands onto the floor. Let's come onto the fingertips. You can actually go onto your shins as well, whatever you prefer. Hands coming back down. Let's come back up. Nice big inhale. And let's exhale. Okay, so let's move on into the energetic part. Inhale. Exhale, coming forward. Hands coming onto the floor. Onto your fingertips, your shins. For that matter, it can even be your thighs. Taking your hands back down. Let's take the right leg back, then the left. Okay, so you've got a couple of choices here. You can come down in one fell swoop for your chaturanga, turning your toes under, making sure that your shoulders are away from your ears, your knees are off the floor, so the only thing that's on the mat is your heel of the hand and the front of your feet and your toes. From there, you would go into down dog. Or you can, from here, your forward fold, you come into a plank just very briefly, dropping the knees down, turn your toes under, elbows coming in towards the chest, bringing your chest and your chin down onto the floor, coming up into a low cobra, and then we turn the toes under, coming back into your down dog. So you've got two choices here, you can alternate between each one. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Depends on your body. Okay, so from here we've had three breaths. And then we're just going to walk, step, and even jump to the top of the mat. And then we come up. Slowly, forward fold. Bring the hands back down. Then to prayer. From here, bring the hands up. And we're coming into a chair pose. So we're going to, as if you're sitting in a chair, taking your arms out in front of you. You can, if you wish, take your fingers down onto the floor just to see how low you can go. It's a really strong one here for the tops of your legs. So you're making sure at this point your toes, your knees and your thighs are together. Okay, it's a very good strong one for strengthening up. And then from here, hands coming back down, coming back up nice and slow. Nice big inhale. Coming down, hands into prayer. Okay. So I'm taking my feet back into hip width apart, it's my preference, but you can stay feet together, your choice. Inhale, exhale coming down, you can bend your knees here if you need to, hands onto the floor, onto your fingertips, your shins and your thighs, taking your hands down. Let's take the left leg back, 
followed by the right. I'll come down into this one this time, Co. Uh, coming down into Chaturanga, onto my knees, coming down, coming up, and then from here, turning the toes under, coming up, into down dog. We'll have three breaths here. Inhale, and exhale, and again, and one more. Let's take walk, step or jump to the top of the mat. And again, we're just coming up, nice and slow, nice big inhale, bringing the hands back down into prayer. Okay, so from here, bring the hands up, let's come in to that chair pose, and again, just go as low as your body can take you. Okay, it's a strong one for your thighs here. Okay. And then from here, coming forward, coming right up. Nice inhale. Exhale, coming into prayer. Inhale. And let's exhale, coming forward. From here, we're going to take your right leg back. Follow by your left. Okay. And then from here, we're coming from plank. And we're coming up into down dog. So we're going from here to there. However, what we're doing is as we inhale... We're bending the back up as if we're doing a wee kind of cat move. And then from the exhale, bending the knees, coming back into plank. Inhale, rounding that back up towards the sky, coming into the down dog. And then from here, bend the knees, coming back down into plank. And again, inhale, rounding that spine, you can feel it in your tummy because your tummy's nice and tight. And then we bend the knees, exhale, spine's coming in, coming into that plank. And we'll do two more. So we're rounding that spine, coming up into down dog. Let's bend the knees, spine coming down, straighten out, and we're in plank. And then from here, just going to drop the knees down. Take the knees to each side of the mat, and we're going to do a nice child's pose. Lovely. And even at this moment in time, you will feel a lot more flexible. Excellent. And your core has been nice and tight the whole way through. Excellent. You're also working the top of your shoulders. You're basically doing a full body workout. And everybody comes to yoga for something different, okay? Whether it's to peace and quiet, whether it's for spiritual, whether it's for losing weight, toning up. You know, everybody's got their own reason for, for coming in. And then let's come on to all fours. So from here, we're back into all fours and we're turning into down dog. Lovely. And then from here, we're gonna raise the right leg up towards the sky. We're going to bring it through and we're coming into a nice high lunge. Lovely. So with a high lunge, we've got your right foot coming forward, back leg nice and straight. Excellent. So from here we're going to come into warrior two. And we're doing making sure we've got the right stance here. So from the feet upwards, so you're looking at your front foot being straight. Back foot in 90 degrees, okay. Front knees bent, knees going over pinky toe side. Hips and shoulders coming towards the screen. Tummy in, tailbone down. Shoulders away from your ears. Nice long arms, let's have a wee look at this big long finger. So from here, come into reverse warrior. So your hands coming up towards the sky. Inhale, taking the hand coming down the back leg. So what you have here is you're working on your core, you're working on your sides, you're working on more or less everything again. You've got the strength in the back leg as well. You're keeping that front knee bent towards your knee, your pinky toe side. And then from here we're coming back up into warrior two. So we're going to get into a reverse triangle here. So we're going to straighten the front leg 
and we're going to take the right hand up to top hand up we're taking the back hand back down again side bend keeping that tummy nice and tight you can feel it okay your front leg although it's straight it's not locked out and then we're coming back in to warrior two and then from here we'll go into a normal triangle so my back hip is coming towards my back wall that's my window my front leg is beginning to straighten which is allowing me to glide forward and then i'm taking the back of my hand down to the back of my calf from here my shoulders should be stacked on top of each other how do i do that so the bottom one bottom shoulders coming towards the screen top one is coming back my arm is pointing up towards the sky and i'm looking up at that pinky again you've not locked your knee out excellent and then from here we come back up into warrior two and now we're going to face the screen so we're in horse stance okay where does the time go on a wednesday night jeez oh it's half past already so toes coming 10 o'clock two o'clock we're coming down okay back's nice and long okay tailbone long tummy in okay shoulders away from the ears bring those arms up towards the sky clasping the hands okay inhale exhale coming over to the side to the right hand side and then let's inhale and let's exhale over to the other side and again let's inhale keeping the arms in line with the ears exhale and let's inhale and let's exhale and again inhale and exhale and again let's inhale and exhale and then back into center releasing those hands let's transition into high lunge so i'm on the ball of my back foot okay my knee is bent my back legs nice and long bringing that arms the both arms up keeping that tummy tucked in again we're working on this core and then we're going to transition into warrior two so warrior two same as we've done the last time front foot's facing towards the window 90 degrees in the back foot and you should have your back front heel in line with the back medial arch okay so from the feet up okay so again knee bent knee coming out to the pinky toe side back legs nice and long hips coming round towards the screen as is your shoulders tailbone long tummy in arms long we're looking at reverse warrior so front palm up towards the sky inhale taking that hand over feeling that strength coming round the tummy down the back leg excellent and then back into warrior two reverse triangle so we're straightening the front leg okay we're taking the front arm up again coming over taking the back hand down the back thigh again front leg is straight but it's not locked out and you can also feel as if you're pushing the mat away from you okay and you do feel it round here too excellent back into warrior two so from here triangle so back hips coming up front legs coming in allowing you to glide forward coming down with the back hand towards the calf bottom shoulder in top shoulder back looking up at that thumb excellent and then from here coming back up coming into horse stance so let's be note coming up so hands behind your back. Hi Joanne, how are you? Okay, so hands behind the back, clasp them, and you've got like 007 fingers. So let's just shoot to kill. Okay. So from here, fingers coming down, nice big inhale. Exhale. Open up those shoulders. And then from here, let's get the hands onto the hips straighten out those legs inhale coming forward taking the hands down onto the floor 
I'm just going to go from side to side. Excellent. Okay. And then from here, I'm just going to walk those hands round. And we're in a low lunge. Okay. And then we're going to take the right leg behind. And we're back in to a nice down dog. Okay. So from here, let's bring those feet together in three-legged dog. And then what we're going to do here is I'm going to go on to the left side and I'm just going to go from side to side. You're working on your obliques here. You will notice that your feet do come apart. Okay. And you just need to watch out for your feet. Don't come too far off the mat. Okay. Especially if you don't have a mat underneath. So just be very, very careful. Okay, you don't slide. Your feet might be a bit warm, which means you're sliding a bit more, but you will feel this in your obliques. Lovely. We'll do two more. My feet are sliding because they're warm. And then back into down dog. Okay. So from here, let's come down into plank. Okay, and I'm going to bring my feet together again. And I'm going to go on my right toes and there's options for this one, okay? So I'm going onto my right toes and I'm going into side plank. So I'm making sure that my wrist is underneath my shoulder and I'm coming up and a side plank. I'm pulling in that tummy and I'm also pulling my hips up. And if you're available to you, you can lift that top leg. Okay, so that's one option, okay? Your other option would be bending your right knee taking it behind you, and it's as if we're in a gate pose, okay, you're still doing the exact same, it's just not as strong, okay, so that's your second option, and then your other option would be, is coming down onto your forearm, come just come down onto your thigh, onto your forearm, taking your top leg out, lifting your top, or your bottom, your bottom hip up, so again, you're still doing a side plank, but just not as strong as the full one. So you've got three options there as to which one is best for you. And you can start at this one, work up to number two, and then go up to the high one. Your choice. And then just let's bring ourselves back down. And then from here, coming back up into down dog. And then from here, I'm going to my left toes. So I'll be coming to my back towards you, ladies and gents, sorry. Coming over. Okay, I'm making sure that my wrist is underneath my shoulder. I'm going into side plank. I'm lifting that right leg up if I want to. You don't have to. Okay, that's one level. Second level would be dropping the knee down. And I'll come to the back so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm on my left knee, taking my right leg out. And I'm just coming over to the side. That's your next option. And then your next one would be coming down onto the floor, onto your forearm, okay, and then just lifting yourself up. So again, you're getting the choice of three options here, and each one serves the same purpose, but just different strengths. And then from here, let's just drop down, coming onto your tummy, and then coming back up into down dog. Okay. So we're in down dog again, okay? And this time we're gonna raise the right leg up and we're gonna bring the right knee to the right elbow, taking it back up again, keeping that tummy nice and tight, taking it across to the left. Okay, do this three times. Into your right elbow, taking it to the sky, taking it to the left elbow and rise and again feel this in your tummy too excellent raising that right up and then taking it back down let's raise the left leg up bringing that knee into your elbow taking it back up over to your right elbow and back up again back down superb Excellent. And over we go. So 
the pen. Last one. And we come. And last one over on the right side. Take the leg back. Bring that leg back down. So we're back in to our down dog. Okay. So from here, let's come down into Chaturanga. And then we're going to come up into a nice little three options of um, cobra here. So we're down on the floor. So you've got three choices of cobra. So your first one would be elbows just underneath the shoulders. Coming up, we're stretching out. You've done quite a good bit there. That's your first level. Second level would be taking the hands just towards the chest. Elbows are still in towards the chest, or the ribcage rather. And then coming up. So your navel's just coming off the floor. Your legs are engaged with the floor. Front of your feet are on the mat. Okay, that's your second level. And then your third level hand would be in the same position. However, inhale, and you're coming up. Your shoulders are away from your ears, and you feel those blades going down your back. Okay, wonderful. And that's giving us a good stretch out here. Okay, make sure your elbows are still bent. You don't want them locked out to get up a wee bit higher. It doesn't quite work that way. A little bend in those elbows, looking straight ahead. And then from here, making your way back down. Okay, so from here, let's use the heel of your hand to push you back up. And we'll come into a child's pose. And by now, you should be feeling a lot more flexible and warmer. Lovely. So let's just do some more abs here. So let's come on and test it in position. And you know, this is one of my favourite ones. So we're coming into the Vasana, but we're going to add on to it tonight as well. So we're coming into a nice straight back. Toes coming onto the floor. Hands coming under those knees. Coming onto your toes. Nice stuck that belly in. And then we're just going to raise. Well, that's your first level. Second level's taking the shins up towards the sky. Third level's taking the feet further up again. And then from here, you're more than welcome to take your hands away. So, generally speaking, we would touch one toe down, then the other, sometimes two. But tonight, we're going to bring the knees in and take them away. If you can, but you've got options there. You can just have one toe on the floor, if that's enough for you. You can stay here. You can take your legs up further. You can hold on to your knees. Or you can drop one foot down, and then the other, just your toes. You can then go for two toes if you want to at the same time. Or you can bring yourself in and out. In and out. Wow. Yes. Keeping your knees together. Excellent. And I'm creaking here. And last one. Okay, so from here we're just going to cross the ankles. And we'll go on to the knuckles. Okay, and you just lift your bottom up here. Okay, and that just releases any tension. Okay, so from here, let's just lie down onto the floor. We're going to bring those knees down to the chest. Okay, just for a wee bit of release here as well. And then we're going to take the shins up towards the sky, taking your hands behind your head. Okay. And we're going to keep the legs here. And we're just going to exhale as we come up, keeping that tummy in. Okay, wonderful. I feel it all down the front. And we'll do two more. And then we'll swap it. And we're going to cycle. So we just take opposite knee to opposite elbow or elbow to knee, whichever way you want to say it. Yes. So I'll do what I usually do, just take you right up to a few minutes to seven o'clock and get you into Shavasana. And then you can lie there for as long as your body needs it. Shavasana really does bring your body back into yeah, its natural state. And we'll do two more. 
and then from here, let's bring those knees into the chest. Lovely. Okay. So from here, let's come up to a seated position. Okay. And we'll do um, a nice uh, hip opener here. So again, there's three options here. So it's called shoelace. So just make sure we're on our sit bones. So if you go onto your finger, your, your knuckles, and just place them on the floor, lift your bottom up off the floor and place it back down, that takes you onto your sit bones. So my left leg's gonna be nice and long in the first level. All I'm gonna do is take my right leg across. I've got my pinky toe just more or less at my, nail, uh, my knee. And then I'm gonna take my left arm and I'm gonna hug that right knee in towards me, raising that right arm up, taking the hand round, and I'm just looking over that shoulder. So that's one level. Okay. Second level would be coming on to your thigh, but onto my left thigh. And I'm just going to take my right leg over. So again, my knees are in line with each other, my back's nice and long. Again, I'm taking my left arm, I'm hugging my right knee. And again, I'm looking over that shoulder. So not only are you opening up your hips, you're opening up your chest as well when you're looking around. And obviously you're working on your obliques here too. And then the third level would be coming onto all fours and then just taking, I'm gonna take my right leg over my left and I'm taking my feet to the side so they're further than away than my mat. And then I'm just gonna come round and sit in my bottom Sometimes you're actually quite good to use um, a block here, and I've went the wrong way. So my right hand's gonna come over my left, and again, I'm looking around my back shoulder. So there's three options there for you to do, and your choice to whichever one you would like to do, which is great. So just hold it for three breaths, and then come back out and then we'll go on to the other side. So again, three options. Right leg down, taking the left leg over, taking the right arm, hugging the right knee, taking the left arm behind you, looking over that back shoulder. My toes are coming up towards the sky. One level, three breaths here, if that's the one you want to do. Second one would be coming on to my right thigh, Taking my left leg over the top, and I went the wrong way. Right hand to left, and I'm looking over again. And I'll go the right way this time. So three breaths if you were doing that one. And then the other one, if you wanted to do it, would be all fours. And I'm going to take my left leg over my right. Okay, so my, my knees are just crossing each other. And then I come down onto a seated position, and I'm taking my left hand round to my left knee, or my right knee rather, and I'm looking over that back shoulder. Excellent. Three breaths. So whichever one you're in, three breaths. And then come back out. Okay. And then we're going to lie in the back and do a wee counter pose. So the counter pose for this one is called window wipers. So we're taking your feet to each side of the mat. And we're just going to take your legs over from one side to the other just as if they were window wipers okay and you can go as fast or as slow as you wish excellent excellent superb okay and i'm going to do another nice um shoulder opener here and it's actually a good one for um, de-stressing as well. So we're going to come into a seated position. We can do it standing. And I know I've been saying for weeks you can do it on a seated position as well. So let's do it seated tonight just for a change so that you can, um, you know it can be done in a seated position. So it can be done standing. It can be done um, against a wall. If you're on the wall, you'll be looking at your shoulders, your spine and your bum being against a wall. So we're sitting nice and long, shoulders away from your ears. Let's open those arms out. And then let's just give ourselves a nice big hug. So I've taken my right arm over my left. Okay, so I'm just hugging myself here. And then from here, I'm just gonna cross my arms at the crease, 
bringing my hands round, my palms are coming together. Now, if you can't manage that, just have the back of your hands together. Okay. And then from here, we're going to inhale. And as we inhale, we push those arms up or take those arms up towards the sky. And you feel that huge, big stretch coming right across, across those shoulder blades. Ideal for this time, um, because everybody's, you know, we're in uncertain terms. Our times, you know, starting back work you know maybe kids been off school and, and all the rest of it so it's a really good one for um de-stressing the shoulders even if you're driving a lot it's really good for that as well and it can be done anywhere so even if you're sitting in the car you know or if you're in the office going to the loo and just grab yourself a seat and then bring the arms down and open wide okay let's go the other way so i'm taking my left arm over my top giving myself that nice big hug because i think it's well deserved and then I'm going to cross my arms and take my hand round and I'm taking my arms up towards the sky and again I'm getting that huge big stretch. Wonderful. Excellent. Superb. And then come back down again. So from here let's take the hands on top of the knees. We'll do a wee cat cow when we're sitting down. So from here let's inhale and we're coming forward. And it's just like a wee wave, okay? So we're coming forward as we would do. Inhale. Exhale. Rounding those shoulders, coming down, spines coming up. And again, okay. Just as you would do a normal cat cow. from here let's just take those arms up towards the sky taking the hands back down and then we'll just we'll turn around and we'll come onto your back so we'll do a nice wee shoulder stand here um so again we'll just do the abbreviated version so we're coming into your back okay and always, if you've got a block or a book or a pillow you're more than welcome to use it if not come with me so you're looking at your legs you're on the floor your legs are coming up towards the sky, your toenails or your toes are pointing up towards the sky as well. Okay, well they'll need to be, won't they? Um, that's silly. So toes up to the sky. Okay, so what you're doing here is, you know, you're reducing, you bring your heart rate back down. Okay, it's also good for the digestion system and it's good for releasing toxins. We've done quite a lot of work tonight um, and we've used quite, well, we've kind of warmed up the connective tissue but you've also generated the toxins coming through your body. So you're looking at them being released, okay? And this helps, okay? So let's get those toes up towards the sky. If you're using, you know, a block, I've got one to hand here, on a pillow, you can place it underneath your sacrum and you know it's in the right place when it's comfy. It's just such a relaxing um, posture. You can also put your hands underneath your sacrum as well. It just gives you that wee lift. Okay. So you've got different options here again. And again, you can cross your ankles too. You can also go against the wall and open your legs wide. Okay. Your bum would be right up against um, the wall. I wouldn't have my hands underneath, but I would have my, my bottom right up against the wall. And again, you know, you get a good stretch in your inner thighs here. So there's lots of different things you can do with it, okay? Again, if we were in class, I would be able to see everybody. Um, I'm not keen on doing this one in the house for the simple reason being, I don't know what kind of space you guys have got. And there's quite a few contraindications on it. So I know for if you haven't, if you've had a stroke, glaucoma, anything wrong with your spine or your vertebrae in your neck, you wouldn't do it but I'll just give you a taster for it. So you would come up, okay, and your legs would be nice and long. Your elbows would be in as close to your rib cage as you can. And you would hold this up here for about 10 breaths, okay? And then from here, from this one, you would go right into plow, which is taking your toenails right across and onto the floor. And again, you would hold that for 10, okay? But again, you know, I'm just showing you 
um, what the alternatives would be. So if you've never had any injuries and you've got the space to do it, you're more than welcome, but just be really, really careful. Okay. So from here, let's work our way back out. So just bring your knees down into your chest. If you have an empty plow, come down one vertebrae at a time, very, very slowly. Okay, bring those knees in towards your chest. Okay. So let's just lengthen those arms out. Okay. From here, we're gonna take the, the length of the legs out and the arms coming down beside your bottom. Going again to fish stance, or fish pose. Let's take the hands underneath the bum, okay? And your fingertips and your thumbs are touching as are your index fingers. From here, you're using your forearms and your elbows for the strength to get you up. So you're pushing into your forearms and your elbows. And as you do that, your shoulders, come, your shoulder blades come together. Your shoulders are rolling back, your head's going back. Your toes, let's face them up towards the sky. Okay, so what you're doing here is opening up your chest. So we've done quite a lot tonight uh, all over the body, but the concentration was in your arms. Okay, wonderful. And then let's just release back down. Okay. So from here, remove the hands. And then we'll come into bridge pose. So again, bring those heels in towards your bum, okay. And then let's get into hip width apart. So again, bring your feet together, so I've got my big toes together. And then I'm gonna take my heels together, taking them out, and then I'm gonna straighten my feet, and that gives me hip width apart, okay. And then from here, place my hands on the floor. I'm using the strength in my feet to take my pelvic area up off the floor pubic bones come up towards the sky, my vertebrae is beginning to work, it's gone up, we've gone on to those shoulders, okay, we're not having any power in our, our buttocks, it's all in our thighs, and then we're going to come down, okay, and as we come down, we're not going to go right down to the floor, we're just going to hover, so one vertebrae at a time, just before you get to the floor, let's inhale, bring it back up again, vertebrae at a time, excellent. What I'd like to do now is to start to push those thighs together, but don't bring them together. Again, if you had a block or a book or even a Tupperware box, you know, just push them together, okay? And you feel the strength here at the top of the legs. Your chin's gonna come into your chest as well. Okay. And then from here, let's come back down again, one vertebrae at a time. Okay. And again, we're just gonna hover. And then we're gonna come back up. And the last time, let's see if we can go up a wee bit higher this time. Superb. And then let's just come down one vertebrae at a time, right onto the floor this time. Let's bring those knees into the chest. Excellent. And let's just go over, take your legs over to the right hand side. Your head's coming over to the left. And then we're going to come into the center. We're going to take the right ankle over the left thigh. And then we're left with a wee eye, the needle here, a wee diamond shape. So let's just bring those hands through. Hold on to that thigh. Shin is now coming up towards the sky. Okay, wonderful. You can, if you wish, take your shoulders off of the mat. You don't have to. Open them up. And then let's come back down again. Placing the left foot on the floor, laying the right. So from here, let's come over to the left hand side. My knees are now facing the screen. My head's over towards the fire. And then we come back up into center. We're taking the left heel and taking it onto the right thigh. Again, I'm left with that triangle. And then I'm taking my hands through and we're going to do that thigh. Excellent. And again, you're more than welcome to bring your shoulders up off the mat. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then from here, let's just drop that foot down. And the other foot onto the floor. 
So let's come up to a seated position. And from here, let's do it in Dasana. So again, let's make sure the hip bones are on, or the seat bones are on the, the floor. So we're taking the knuckles and placing them on the floor, lifting your bottom up, placing the bum back down. And then from here, you're taking your hands to the side of your hips, your heels, your calves and your thighs are pushing in towards the floor, shoulders away from the ears, your back's nice and long, don't want like this, we don't want this rounded back either. Doesn't look much ladies and gents, but basically you're doing, um, you're working every muscle in the body here. And then from here, release, okay. So let's make sure we're back in position by taking those knuckles down, lifting the bum, sit bones on the floor, Paschimottanasana. Nice big inhale. Heels onto the floor, as in your shins, sorry, needing your calves and your thighs. Knees as if they're coming in towards your, th your thighs. Bringing those hands down and to the top of the toes. If you can't manage that, you can go into your thighs, your shins and even your ankles. But please keep your back in alignment, nice and long. I'm keeping the head up, we don't want it like this. I say every week it weighs a stone, so if you have it here, you're out of alignment. Excellent. And then let's take a nice big inhale. Come forward. You can use a strap here as well, you don't have to have a strap. You can use a strap, you can use um, a scarf, a tie. Those of you who know me, I've grabbed my hubby's ties that I don't like, and I'll use them, um, and you can use a dressing gown belt. So there's lots of alternatives there, you don't have to spend any money. And then the last one, inhale. Coming forward, bringing those hands forward again, getting the forearms onto those shins. So again, for a block in the house, if you don't have a block, you could use like a really thick um, book, hardback book, or for that matter, even um, a Tupperware box. It was one of the girls that was on an advanced course at the weekend and she suggested a Tupperware box. I thought, brilliant. So there's always options here so you don't have to spend any um, money. And then let's come up. Okay. So from here, let's have a nice big inhale and an exhale. And then from here, let's come round. Just lie on the floor, bring yourself down. Okay, taking a nice big body stretch. And then bring your hands down towards your hips and then just take them away from the body. About six inches, palms up to the sky. Heels coming out to the side of your mat. If you don't have a mat, you're talking about two feet apart. Let's roll that head from side to side. Bring the chin into your chest. Let's have a nice big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and one more, inhale, and exhale, back to normal breath. Okay, so please, ladies and gents, sign up for the, the newsletter, that'll give you all the up-to-date information and um, what's happening at KA Leisure. Okay. It was on Facebook the other day, so yeah. We'll get it there. So just stay in this pose and posture for as long as you wish. Okay, I'm a nice wee quote tonight. Um, when you reach your edge, soften. Soften until you slip through the constraints and can create a new rhythm, a new route, a new release. Water is soft yet powerful. So reach your edge and soften. So stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish. If you want to make your way back out, just start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Give yourself a huge big stretch. Bring your knees into your chest and just rock gently from side side and then make your way up to a seated position. So from here let's take a nice big inhale and exhale 
and inhale and exhale and one more nice big inhale bring those hands together in prayer bring them to the crown of the head the third eye the lips your heart thank you so much ladies and gents for coming along tonight thoroughly enjoyed that class i did hope you did too feeling nice and warm and stretched enjoy the rest of your evening stay healthy happy and peaceful namaste Thank you.